this video shows you different ways of selecting cells in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Not only can you use the regular mouse in order to do it, you can also use your keyboard in different ways to select large ranges of information in Microsoft Excel. I think you'll find this video really valuable whether you're a basic user or an advanced user in Microsoft Excel. There's a lot of real great time savers in here. Enjoy today's video. I'm in a Microsoft Excel worksheet and I want to use this worksheet to demonstrate five methods that you can use for quickly selecting parts of your worksheet. The first method I'll be using is the, is the keyboard method. So first of all, I'll click on the cell where I want to start selecting. In this case, I clicked on cell A6. And on my keyboard, I'm going to hold the Shift button down. And then in the bottom right corner of my keyboard, I'm going to use the right arrow key to touch that a few times to move across. I'll leave the Shift button held down. I'll touch the down arrow key a couple of times to move down. I've now selected a range of cells from A6 through to F14 in this case. That's one method, a really basic method, just using your keyboard to select cells. Here's a second method using your mouse. You get exactly the same result. I'm going to put my mouse in the middle of cell A6. I'll hold my mouse button down and drag across and down to row 14, column F. And I've selected cells by just using the white selecting tool, the white cross. That's the second method using your mouse to select things. A third method is useful if you want to select a large range of things. Let's say, for example, I want to select from A6 all the way over to, say, uh, F27. So I first of all click on cell A6. Then on my keyboard, I'm going to hold the Shift button down. I'm going to put my mouse in the bottom right corner cell that I want to select. And I'll click with my mouse as I hold the Shift button down. I've now selected a large range of information by, again, using the Shift button and clicking with my mouse. I'm going to do that one more time. I want to start selecting from this cell here, A10. I want to select all the way across to F24. I hold the Shift button down on my keyboard, and I click. I've now selected that range of information. I'll go back now to cell A6. The next method is using a combination of a function button on your keyboard and the Shift button on your keyboard to select a range of cells. I want to select from cell A6 all the way to cell F54. Now I know the bottom of this data area is cell F54, so I want to be able to select from A6 to the bottom of this range of data. So to do this, I'm going to first of all click in the cell where I want to start the selection. This is cell A6. And on my keyboard, I'm going to touch the F5 button. It takes me into a go-to box. Now in this go-to box, I'm going to type in the address that I want to be able to select to. In this case, I'm typing in F54. Now, if I just click on the OK button, what this will do, it'll jump me to cell F54. I don't want to do that. I want to select the cell F54. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hold the Shift button down and click on OK. And what that now does is it selects all the way down to F54 back up to where I started from. So it'll give you the, the example again. I want to select from B6 all the way over to cell F30. So I click in B6 first of all. I touch F5 on my keyboard. I'm going to type in F30. I'm going to hold the Shift button down on my keyboard and click on OK. And what that does, it quickly selects from B6 all the way to F30. So again, it's a nice, fast way of selecting a large range of, of information, especially if you know the cell that you want to select to. And the last method I want to talk about is using a, a, is using a method using the end mode technique. So in this case, what I want to be able to do is to select all the way from A6 across to column F, and then select from F6 all the way to the end of the worksheet. So I first of all click on the cell where I want to start selecting. Then on my keyboard, towards the right-hand side of my keyboard, I'm going to touch the End button. And now you've noticed down at the bottom of the screen, it's now I'm now in End mode. On my keyboard, I'm going to hold the Shift button down. And on my keyboard in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm going to touch the right arrow key. It quickly selects all the way from A6 over to F6. I now want to jump all the way to the end of the spreadsheet selecting. So again, on my keyboard, right side of my keyboard, I'm going to touch the end button again. I'm back in end mode. On my keyboard, I'm going to hold the shift button down. And on my keyboard, I'm going to touch the down arrow key. And what that quickly does is selects all the way to the end of the worksheet. So I'll do the whole steps again. I'm going to start in cell B6. I'm going to touch the end button, putting me in end mode. I'm going to hold the shift button down on my keyboard. And I'm going to touch the right arrow key on my keyboard. It selects all the way over to F6. I'm going to touch the end button again. I'm back in end mode. 
on my keyboard, I'm going to hold the shift button down and touch the down arrow key. I've now selected from B6 all the way across to F54. So those are some techniques that you can use for quickly selecting parts of a worksheet in Microsoft Excel 2010. It works in all the versions of Microsoft Excel. Well, wow. I hope that you find that information valuable, that you learn one or two new things about being able to select cells in Microsoft Excel. We have lots of videos on our website at www.joecomputertips.com that give you different ways of, of, of working in the different Microsoft applications in an effort to help you become more effective as you use these applications. Please visit our website. My name again is Joe Peterson, and thanks for watching today's video.